Hey everyone, I'm Trevor and you're watching SoCal Disney Dad. Today we are at Disneyland on November 12th, the start of the holiday season here at Disneyland. The tree is up behind me. We're walking down Main Street. There's decorations all over the place. It's going to be a great day. So let's get going. We just got to Disney at the earliest that we've probably ever gotten to Disneyland. <laughs> Way too early. There is, today is November 12th, which is the start of the Christmas season, so we're so excited. But there is also a special thing today where Disney Plus members can get in at 7.30. So a whole half an hour almost earlier. Everybody. Yeah, I mean, it is almost everybody. But we're here for that, which means we had to get here earlier, which means I woke up even earlier. But we're happy now. All right, here you go. This is Amy's game face. Amy's game face. She's getting Rise of the Resistance boarding groups. I hope. She's waiting. I hope. There we go. This is the longest minute ever. The longest minute ever? The longest minute ever. Wow. Four. Boarding group four? Four. <laughs> That's as low as we've ever gotten. And I thought my boarding group last time was good at 20. <laughs> In the area where we are right here past security, they are playing the holiday version of It's a Small World. I'm looking forward to riding. And the ride is broken indeterminately, indefinitely. <laughs> yes, you probably heard about it because it was on like news, uh, yeah. even in our town, just regular news. Here's a quick look at the line to get into Disneyland at the moment because of the special Disney Plus early entry. If you look over there, you can see how far the line is going back over there as well. Quite busy here this morning. Let's check this out. There's blue carpet everywhere in here for Disney Plus Day. And we got these cool Disney Plus Day pins to celebrate stories you love. So that's pretty neat. They're, they're also handing out special hats here. So that's pretty cool. We'll show you that in a minute. What do you see? A star! You see a star? Yeah. What else do you see? Where's the star? My hair. Right there. On the tree. You see a star on the tree? And there's a look at the tree. So tall. Let me see if I can get, oh, I can get the whole thing in the screen. There we go. Super tall tree. Ah. I mean, the snow was on the castle the last time I was here on October 31st. But it's nice to see the wreaths up and hear the Christmas music playing in the background and all that sort of stuff. People are wearing red and green and I'm not, but people are. The outside of Jungle Cruise here is decorated for Christmas. There's a Christmas tree up there with bananas serving as the garland. Long line for Indiana Jones this morning. Surprising. So we're starting off with Jungle Cruise this morning. Gotta get the backside of water done first thing. Let's take a seat, then we'll be underwater in no time. Underway, sorry. Sorry, I'm thinking of my last boat. Left hand side, folks, we got a Himalayan tiger standing right there. Wow, that is really rare to see that tiger standing there, trust me. Because normally when I come through here, you know, him laying on that rock, him laying on the beach, normally him laying all over this place, so. These elephants are actually really intelligent creatures. Uh, we taught this one to do a trick. Speak, Bobo. <laughs> Louder. <laughs> Amazing. Yeah, I bet you don't do that every day, do you? <laughs> I do. Yeah. Um, okay, bad news. We got a hippo trying to charge the boat. Uh, worst news, I only accept cash. Um, it's the eighth wonder of the world. The amazing, the stupendous backside of water. All right, Ellie, your turn. Oh, Ellie. Oh, you blew it. Oh. You know, a lot of people think that's water coming out of Ellie's truck. Yeah. It's not. So. <laughs> That might quite possibly be the best ride of Jungle Cruise that I have ever had. Uh, I would highly recommend doing Jungle Cruise first thing in the morning. Now, if you are familiar with Disneyland, you may be saying, didn't it used to be Jingle Cruise at this time of year? Disney World stole it. Yes, they did. They stole the Jingle it's Cruise. It's okay. We have Small World Holiday normally. <laughs> we do. If it was open. Normally. <laughs> but the new Jungle Cruise does have a teeny little bit of Christmas in it, so that's okay. 
Pirates was a five minute wait, so we just hopped in over here next. Working our way towards Rise of the Resistance because our boarding group is up in like five minutes. Fun fact for you, did you know that the Whistling Prisoner in Pirates of the Caribbean is the same animatronic as the ghost that is blowing out the cake in the ballroom scene of Haunted Mansion? If you didn't, now you know. Check this out, now there's a line for Pirates of the Caribbean. There wasn't when we got in line. So the Rise of the Resistance actually is not open. It's 8, 10 now. We thought it would open straight at 8. But it says there's still a 65 minute wait. Now it is working its way down because you said it was 90 minutes. Yeah, that's like 90 minutes. So we are working our way down, but they're just not quite ready at 8 o'clock. So we're actually going to go to Jolly Holiday now to get a snack. Now the snacks are going to be in a totally separate video. So you're going to have to look elsewhere on my channel uh, for that snack video. The snacks will probably land before this one does though. Just a, a heads up. So it should already be live on the channel. Even the horse has some jingle bells. Now we decided to come over and do Astro Orbiter because I don't think Benjamin has ever ridden Astro Orbiter. We thought about doing Splash Mountain today too because it's going to be 91 degrees, but we'll see. Let me see your excitement. Up, 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 Whoa, Benjamin, how cool is this? Do you like it? Yeah. All right, that's awesome. Woo! Rise of the Resistance is still not boarding yet, so we're just gonna resume our rides and going crazy here with rides this morning while it's not as busy. Next up is the Matterhorn. Matterhorn bobsleds. Benji's never done this one either. What do you think about Matterhorn? No. Do you, are you looking forward to it? Mm -hmm. Do you want to ride it? Yes. Small World Holiday is closed. Yes, yeah, Small World Holiday is closed. You're right. Are you my riding buddy? Yes. <laughs> Very excited about that. All right, James is in front of me. Benji and mommy are behind me. Benji does not look thrilled. Does not look thrilled at all. Yes? Even the Yeti? Yes. You like the Yeti? Yeah. Right before we got on that ride, Amy told me that the Fantasyland ride side was easier. And I didn't remember it because I haven't ridden this side in a really long time, but that was super tame. Yeah. No, the other side, the Tomorrowland side is, I think, the inner track, and it's a lot more like dips and turns. I call it, affectionately, the backbreaker <laughs> because it jerks you around so much. But I hardly had any jerks in this one. Like, it just seemed like a nice, smooth, <laughs> it was slow, calm, relaxing ride on the Matterhorn. I don't know about relaxing, but... So our boarding group got called for Rise of the Resistance. We're heading there now, but before we do that, we're gonna delay or detour over to the Red Rose Tavern to get our next snack, which again, you'll have to check out in the other video. Here it is, folks, the moment you've all been waiting for. I know we did it earlier in the ride for real, but this time we're gonna do it now. The of water. We walked straight into the ready room. That's the fastest that's ever happened. Resistance is about to be destroyed. 
Well, that was different. Maybe that's why it was broken a little bit this morning because they were trying to get Kylo Ren working, but he was not there in the final scene. And so they, I didn't know that they had that backup where they put Kylo on the screen. That's actually really clever. That's the first time I've seen that. We're walking by Splash Mountain right now and I'm thinking, wow, that actually looks really, really inviting because while it's just about 10 a.m. here uh, and November 12th, it is pushing 90 degrees already. It is quite toasty. My, If I were to take my hat off, my head's a bit of a sweaty mess. Um, but it, it is, I mean, we've had 80s in December before. That's not unusual. But when you're here for Christmas Day, you know, it's like, well, not Christmas Day, but you know what I mean. Christmas decoration day, Christmas time. You don't want 90 degrees. Well, and it's weird because like all of next week, it's supposed to be back down into the 70s again. Check out the line for Pirates of the Caribbean now. It wraps all the way down there up on top of the bridge over here. I'm not quite sure what the wait time is, but it's only like it's only like 10:20 in the morning. Oh boy. We are we are in the hub and it is toasty. Roasty toasty. That's what I feel like. I feel like one of the roasty toasties. I'm going to make some popcorn now. <laughs> but we are headed to Space Mountain currently. Uh, it was between that or Big Thunder. Big Thunder's open again! But there are both 30 minute waits. And, and Benjamin hates okay, Big Thunder. Okay, no, he likes to ride. He doesn't like the goat. <laughs> <laughs> like, the the second, so, so, yeah, he'll, he'll, like, he'll be like, call me the goat freak. <laughs> All right, well, now the sign says 40, even though the technology interaction is making it hard for you to see. Looks like we're gonna be stuck outside. Definitely a bit of a line. Probably gonna to have to wait quite a bit, but that's okay. Looks like Max and Goofy are out here and they're wearing their like future world outfits or something. There they are, Goofy and Max. Say hi Max. Bye Max. Bay Max. <laughs> we came down to Main Street because we got a cookie for our food video and we had some things that we needed to do down here. We needed to go talk to the guest services, to ask them a question. And I wanted to see if Hoppy, Hoppy, wanted to see if Happy Haunts Materialize was still at great moments with Mr. Lincoln because it's no longer the Halloween season. So we thought maybe they might change that out. But the answer is nope. The art of Haunted Mansion and the Hoppy Haunts, Hoppy, keep saying that. Happy Haunts Materialize is still going on over here to celebrate the anniversary of the opening of the Haunted Mansion. While we were down this way, we also saw that Christmas, Mickey and Minnie, as well as Goofy, is hiding behind this pole here. Holiday, Mickey, Goofy, and Minnie are hanging out here at the Disneyland Railway Station. If you're looking for a Christmas popcorn bucket, they have the white Christmas trees down here at Main Street at this popcorn booth right next to the giant tree. It's the only place we've seen it so far, and there is quite the long line lined up to get it, as you can see. After the marching band, we decided to come over to Big Thunder Mountain Railroad. 30 minute wait. Eight minutes for what was supposed to be a 30 minute wait. Wow. What ride is this? Big Thunder Mountain Railroad. Can you say it? It's wild and wild and wild. Because this here is the wildest ride in the wilderness.
Long lines in the Esplanade to get into DCA at uh, the switching time, 1 p.m. Well, here we are coming into DCA. We hopped over here to grab some DCA snacks. And uh, I'm looking at the decorations. It's a little less obvious than the Halloween ones because a lot of the things they've got wrapped around poles match the color of the trees. So everything just kind of blends in. But or it matches the color of the pole. We have some red bows up there and just walking in here on Buena Vista Street. First, we're gonna go over to Schmoozie's and the Hollywood cart to get some snacks. that will be over in our snack video. But we do hope to ride a ride or two while we are over here. Over here at DCA, the popcorn bucket is a Pixar Toy Story themed Happy Holidays popcorn bucket. And we have quite a long line of people waiting for that popcorn bucket over here as well. If you remember at the beginning of the video, we said it was Disney Plus Day. They have special photo shoots where they'll give you a photo pass photo for free and they'll insert whatever it is that they want to insert. Of course, how could you forget that it's Disney Plus Day, right? I mean, I've just been advertising it all day long. And we're gonna come into Luigi's La Casa de la Tires. It is still crazy hot outside. It's like 95 degrees. It's like hotter than it should be, hotter than hot. So air conditioning is nice. Benji has chosen the red car, right? Yes. To match your shirt. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yep. We get some, we won't throw until we get some. We won't throw until we get some. Some nice Christmas decorations here through Cars Land as we walk by. We got the cone tree. <laughs> Cozy cone tree. And some stars out front here. Some Christmas wreaths hanging. And uh, do we have some air filters? Do you see that? Wrenches in the snowflakes, air filters in the wreath itself. We have the Santa Clutch, so the Santa Claus. We have coolant runnings. Ah, Jamaica man, yeah. <laughs> the lug nut cracker. <laughs> and snowy. Frozen? Frosty? Frosty, snowy. So Let me see your best smile. <laughs> That's, our... That's his best smile. <laughs> It's about 3.30 and the parade over at Disneyland should be just about finishing up. So Amy is gonna hop over with Benjamin. He's already asleep. So she's just gonna try to find a spot that she can camp out for the parade at five to 5.30. Yes, I know it's kind of early, but the sun is really hot and finding a nice shady spot to wait will be kind of crucial before you know all the spots disappear and that sort of thing. It's just what happens with parades, unfortunately. But anyway, my point being, James and I are gonna go ride in Credit Coaster since Benjamin can't ride it anyway. 15 minute wait over here for in Credit Coaster. Just a 15 minute wait. Joy of the holiday. 
holidays be with you always. On behalf of Disneyland and the North Pole, we wish you all a very Merry Christmas. Well, that was the parade. I'll put uh, bits of it here in the actual video here, but if you wanna see the full video, check out the full video on my YouTube channel. It's already up, I'll link to it right now, and you can watch it there. Uh, otherwise, just put tiny bits, just the highlights for the vlog. Right now, we're gonna hop back over to DCA, mostly just to get food, so that's all gonna be in the other video. I know I keep saying that, but I just want you to let, like keep you aware of what we're doing right now, but also be aware that that's not the scope of this video. Um, so we're heading over to DCA. There might be something over there that we do, so it's good to give you the timestamp. Um, but mostly we're going over for food because it's six o'clock and we haven't eaten dinner yet. Yeah. Amy is just commenting that it looks a lot prettier now. I think it does. Now that we've got some colorful lights up there on the bridge and uh, it's just nice coming into nice DCA at night. Well, that's probably the nicest part about it. <laughs> it's not 95 degrees anymore. We'll change a plan. Instead of getting another festival, the holiday item, we just decided to go get a shawarma from Avengers Campus, which can make it into this vlog because it's not part of our Disneyland special seasonal snacks vlog. So the tree outside of the Curios is all lit up with Christmas lights. My phone really does a good job of brightening things up, but it does a terrible job of showing good Christmas lights. Really? <laughs> yeah, because it, it brightens it up too much. <laughs> Lowe's V8 Cafe. Nothing really festive about Flo's. Come on, Flo, why didn't you decorate? <laughs> I see Stanley up there is even decorated. Even the Horn O' Plenty got an overlay here with some Christmas lights on the Horn O' Plenty. But well, we did get the shawarma wrap. This is what it looks like in the dark. In the dark. <laughs> Never got a shawarma wrap before, so this is the first time for us. Is that good? Mm -hmm. Oh, Amy approved. Mm -hmm. Big happy smile. Mm -hmm. I'm thinking we're getting another one. I Some guess. people said that this thing wasn't very big, but this feels pretty good to me. Though we didn't film it, we actually went and got a second shawarma from Shawarma 2. Now, Amy told me that a common complaint about the shawarmas is that there's hardly any chicken in them, which we found to be surprising because the shawarma that we got from the shawarma palace uh, actually had loads of chicken in it until I got a shawarma wrap from shawarma 2 and we realized there was hardly any chicken in none at all. So uh, the, le the moral of the story here is get food from the shawarma palace which is right next to web slingers not from shawarma 2 which is right next to the old frozen theater we don't know what we're doing because we just decided to hop back again <laughs> now we came over here literally just to eat dinner which is fine it's what we did yeah. and we weren't going to eat at one of the festival booths until we got over here and, and realized the that the line was packed. like 15 people <laughs> yeah. long just to order and then another like 20 people long just to pick up your food and we're yeah. like we do not want to do that for one item so definitely we'll not be back for those yeah so again the moral of the story of that is come right when they open yeah. like, come a little like, earlier of course we got to see the lighting of the tree earlier for the parade that happened uh, about a half an hour before actually but now main street in the dark does just look amazing that's a nice view looking down main street from this angle as you look towards the tree well it's seven o'clock and people are camped out for the fireworks already which is two hours early i mean it's how long we waited for the parade but i'm just surprised i guess right in front of the castle in case we don't get to see it later, because we still have to walk all the way up there, I do want you to know that we currently see projections going on up on It's a Small World. They've already <laughs> stopped flying around as much as they were a second ago. Oh, there we go. But yeah, projections on It's a Small World. Of course, by the time I get up here, no, the projections are gone. But I'm actually kind of happy about that because I was kind of bummed thinking that they weren't going to put the lights on, that it was just projections but I'm happy to see that that was like some sort of special show that I just barely missed. But, lightning lane. Oh, does it? It started. It started. Lightning lane is coming. Hey, how you doing? 
<laughs> well, that is it for our time here at Disneyland with the decorations, our vlog here today, our time, uh, seeing that parade, going and checking out the Christmas slides, loads and loads of fun we've had here today. If you want to see more Disneyland videos and other Southern California theme parks and attractions, go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button. I hope to see you again. Also drop a comment, let us know uh, what you'd like to see on the channel and we'd be happy to, to help you out, film whatever it is that you want us to film and uh, we will see you again next time.